Hi, my name is Adam and welcome to WebWalks, a channel where I talk about online privacy, security and web design. And today I'd like to show you the danger of installing unknown extensions or malicious hidden extensions. Now, I'll quickly show you how an extension, if you allow it to be installed, can gather all your data unknowingly. So if you install extensions, you can do it pretty much from the official store, pick whatever you want, and then click this Add Chrome, Add to Chrome button. And it will always prompt you with the request extensions wants to make. Now, this Add Honey wants to read and change all your data on websites that you visit. This is big because that means it can, it can have access to any website you use with your data and use it however it wants. Now, if you read the reviews, it has over 8 million users and over a 100,000 reviews, so this might not be a malware. You can also check it online. But this is how you install extensions. And for, for uh, this demonstration, I will install a local extensions that is not on the store because I just want to demonstrate to you how easy it is for an extensions to actually take your data. And, it, and it's a serious issue. So. I quickly open extensions here and I put on developer mode, which allows you to install local extensions or the ones that are not on the market here. So I made a very simple extension called Red Facebook. And it's a plugin that makes your Facebook completely red. Now it's just, just a dummy text. And I set a manifest.json file, which has the name, and description and here it loads my custom JavaScript code if the website you visit while having the plugin installed matches this code so it goes Instagram slash account slash edit and what I'm trying to do is to gather people's private emails okay so if I open Instagram login and go to uh, go to my profile here i can see that this is my name username website and here below is a section called private information and this should never be visible to anyone on instagram also this and this this is just for the instagram company to uh, to contact me or to have some uh, contract stuff or whatever so this is private and if I quickly inspect the element here, I can probably, yeah, it's an input element with ID. So I can quickly get the data from the element because it's an input. I will have to use the value and I know that I can read the value just like that with JavaScript. So what I will do is uh, I will do this uh, pixel tracking trick and my my plugin plugins JavaScript the x.js file here <coughs> saves the value of the input with an email into the password variable then I create a new I dynamically create a new image tag with which is one to one pixels big and I, again, I'll do the get image source trick to bypass the cross-site scripting and also to send it the fastest way as possible. So I set the source of the image, my own malicious server, that x, that PHP, and x equals, and now I include what I get from the email, and I put it inside the page. So here, when I have my extension installed, if I reload the page and quickly go through the code at the bottom I should see just before the closing body tag I should see my image with the source and here I have a question mark x equals and the email that I gathered from here and at the websites the malicious PHP code I can quickly show you here it simply gets the x value from the URL it's pointing to, it connects to the database, 
That's my SQL database, just to be quick. And it inserts it into my own table names and insert it as a value. And now here it uses a PHP native DB library to create a white one-to-one -one big image, JPEG image, and returns it. So whatever site requests this ex.php file, it returns back a one-to-one -one image. So if I open, yeah, if I take this uh, URL and open it in a new tab, I will get this one-to-one -one image. And now just by op opening this website, just because I have opened it at any given point in, uh, and having this extensions installed, if me as an attacker, I check the database, I can quickly see the email of the user that has my extension and opened this website. Now, this was just a quick example. You can use it for anything you want. You can gather passwords with it. You can change users content with it. And this is just a simple demo to show you how dangerous it is to install extensions either manually because someone forced you to install it for some reason that might seem like nice to you or if it's unknown or uh, unknown extension and it's on the market it doesn't have any reviews and doesn't have any installs by other users or if you want to install some extensions and it shows that and it tells you that it wants to manipulate and have access to all the browsing data even if the if, even if the extension's purpose is to just i don't know save text and it and you, you think that it shouldn't have this um, permissions then you should better stay back because as you can see this is very simple and you can get taken over to your account and you can get your data stolen okay so that's it uh, if uh, you liked it you can say it in the comments below if you want to get in touch with me or get my encryption key or support what I do maybe you can read the description and get the text where everything like this is mentioned the ways to contact me and such and see you next time